Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video I'll be showing you how to remove a chuck from a drill. Unfortunately this drill has seen better days, the battery does require replacement, and I already have other portable drills which are much more powerful. Before this gets thrown away, I like to save the chuck for my lathe as it doesn't currently have a functioning one for the tailstock. This is a Rome chuck which is typically a good quality. While this is a drill, they don't have as high of a tolerance or accuracy as compared to something you may find on a mill or lathe. As you can see the specifications of the chuck are printed on the side. This includes the capacity size and thread type for the spindle. Retracting the jaws into the body, while it's a bit harder to see on camera, there is a standard screw locking the chuck into place. You may need a pick to clean the screw to reduce the chance of it being stripped. Remove a screw using a standard screwdriver. This is a left handed threaded screw. Therefore it needs to be rotated in a clockwise direction to loosen and remove. Once it is removed, here it is. Using an Allen wrench, make sure it is a good quality version of a larger size. If you are using a cheaper or smaller version, you may risk bending or breaking it. Install it into the chuck and then tighten. There is some drag from the gearing of the drill so it should provide some resistance. Place the drill on the edge of something where the chuck can rotate freely. Using a dead blow hammer so it doesn't damage the allen wrench, give the allen wrench a hit from the side. The chuck will loosen in a counterclockwise direction, it uses a right hand thread. Once loose, you can then remove the chuck. If you are just replacing a chuck, the same method does apply and the installation would be in reverse of removal. I purchased an arbor online, this was only about $10, so it will be fine for any projects that don't require any high tolerance. This is for my South Bend 9A lathe, the tailstock takes a number 2 taper, and the thread type on the opposite end for the chuck is a 3 8 24. I won't be installing the left handed screw, so I won't be able to use a left handed drill bit or tap left handed threads. This concludes the rest of my video, if you have enjoyed it, please leave a comment below and throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more metalworking videos. Thank you for watching.